Alright, so this is my review for the Rising Hawk. Um, apparently there was, according to online, there was a big um, excitement for this. Um, I, I don't know why. Um, I don't really know that stuff. Um, but I watched the about 30, 20 minutes of this. And I wasn't really understand. I wasn't really feeling it. And I just, I didn't understand what's going on. Uh, it had Mongos uh, and versus uh, white people. So I was a little confused because I'm, I, you know, I'll admit I'm a little ignorant to certain things in, um, in parts of history, especially when it comes outside of the U.S. Um, so what I looked up was it's in the, towards the end of the late 13th century. And the 13th century is between 1201 to 1300. Now, I could be wrong on that, but that's not necessarily my fault. That is Google's, and you know how Google can be. So correct me in the, um, in the comments if you know. But what it is, is the Mongols at the late 1300s uh, invaded Europe. And they are, if according to the map on Google, uh, it's pretty much most of uh, the Europe. Um, obviously not um, Russia and, you know, that, but like from a good amount. Um, so that that definitely did actually change a lot for me about the mood. Um, there is, the only people I recognize in here is, and he has a role of a father of a peasant town. Um, it's Robert Patrick. Uh, you know him as the... Um, the Terminator in the second one, um, you know, I've seen a couple of the stuff, he, you know, he, he's all right for me. Uh, I haven't really seen him in a whole bunch that I'm like, oh, wow, this is a great actor. He's, he's all right for me. Um, one of the issues I have with this movie, and this is what you kind of can get, have some issues of, uh, of uh, a low budget movie film, even if it's a decent film like this. Um, cause you kind of got to get what you want, what well, you can get what you, you can get when it comes to your sources of money and what you can get around to. So there's not, they can't really go like full on history. -ness. I think most of this was put into the money was put into the uniforms and I don't know, like I said, I don't know the exact history, so I don't know the whole, um, thing of it. Um, so you, I noticed in here that everyone has an accent and I'm not really, you know, full on, like I can recognize every single accent because there's different accents and then even each country, there's different dialects of it. Um, but I, I definitely did see, uh, there was a couple in here that I, I definitely recognize as Scottish. Uh, there was some Irish in here. Um, so that makes sense that it's Europe at this time. Um, but there was definitely, there was a little bit of, 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 of uh, questionable when it comes to some of the accents. Um, there were, obviously there's ones I can't recognize, put my finger on. Um, but there was a lot of American accents in here, including Pat Roberts, uh, in there. Like, not even an accent, technically, at least to Americans. It's, um, you're just standard, uh, English. Um, I thought that was odd, but it was like, oh, oh well, it's a low budget film, so it's whatever. Um, there's also some scenes in here a little bit weird. Um, the, what the highlight of this film, I will say, is the Mongols uniforms compared to the peasants and the, um, the upper class. I guess you could say of a small kingdom were definitely standed out way better. Um, the one guy that standed out was the head of the Mongos. Uh, I'm pronouncing that wrong. Um, from excuse my stutter. Um, 
it was Kong, his name is Kong, but his the play, person that plays him is Delout. Oh God, Abdul Espenf. And um, anyways, I don't reckon I didn't. It was hard to find what he looks like to to actually find his name. Um, but I did come across pictures of him, and I, I don't really recognize anything he's in. He is definitely what stood out, the person that I actually wanted to see more. So there was a part in there where he came in, and um, you already knew who he was, because compared to the other guys, um, the other Mongols, is he's this overweight, huge, bald, uh, very intimidating, you know, this flat-out serious face, uh, the, the minute, um, intimidating, and he has that Asian beard where it's, it's, you know, in a ponytail and it's black. And these uniforms are this, like, all out kind of badass. I kind of feel like out of all the things they spent the most money on, they went on to the, the villains of this. Um, overall, all actors in here definitely did a, you know, a good job. Uh, there was a redhead in here that had some of a small part in here. I kind of felt like with the small uh, senses she had that she wouldn't be all that great. So I can't really say. Um, it's really a generic standard story and that they just put love stories in it. And it wasn't, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, it, it's just what it is. It's average. It's, you know, it's a... A fight between an invasion, a, a kind of medieval kind of times of uh, people of this country, you know, uh, farmers and stuff and kingdoms with a, another from uh, another race or another people group from another part of the country or in this case from another country. Um, there, there was a spot in here, there, towards the end they have these big fight scenes and it's between in between this two boulders uh, type of uh, of walls type of thing. It was the whole thing of that and they go through it, which reminded me of something that would be in the, like they did with 300, um, which I'm not necessarily a fan of when it comes to these kind of, uh, I guess you'd say medieval film, films. I don't know if it's considered medieval, um, but I prefer the, for me personally, I like the battle scenes where they're out in the open. Or if they're on a, uh, a castle type of thing, but still in the open. Um, but that's my preference. That's not really a, a bad thing of this movie. And that's just more of a side note. Um, the graphics definitely in here on certain parts of the crowds from up above were really bad. Um, I, it was def it clearly standed out that it was, it was bad. Um... Just graphics and editing. Um, but for the most part, it was definitely, you know, it was definitely straightforward, good action. Um, not a whole lot of story to it. Like I said, it's just generic, straightforward, with some love into it. Um, one of the huge criticisms I have is of the actress Poppy Droughton. Uh, she plays the princess of the... Not the Mongols, obviously, but the um, the head king of uh, that's in between these peasants' town and the Mongols. Um, I was not buying at all that this girl who was a princess under the rule of this guy. Um, she was definitely a, 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 you know, a bit of a tomboy, so she did some learning of arrows. But it's a totally different thing when she, when she's, she didn't have any of this special training like, um, like you do with, uh, with a lot of these kids, you know, uh, early on, special tactics. Um, and she was a small, scrawny thing. And the way, the fact that she was able to move the way she was, and then also defeat Mongols out of all people in history. I wasn't buying it one bit. I thought that was this. Maybe they could have done better casting or maybe gone a different way with her. I wasn't buying it. And I, I know that like 
there were women in, in battles and stuff, but there's a big difference between this type of scenario where it was like uh, Christians and stuff, type of medieval stuff, um, you know, knights and stuff, compared to if you were going to uh, compare to uh, Viking women, which were normally, you know, more bulkier, more, more, uh, um, muscular, I guess you'd say, and they were trained in special tactics uh, growing up, and that's where you got the shield maidens and great warriors. Um, but that's Viking culture and their way of life compared to how the Christians would see their women. Um, obviously in this, he didn't have like that big of an issue with, um, with her doing what she's doing and fighting, but obviously he didn't have her, he didn't himself or anyone train her at a certain age. Um, there is an actress in here that Alison Doty, and this is not trying to be mean or anything, but you can tell she's one of those uh, actresses that are older that went a little too far with the um, plastic surgery. Now, it's not like horribly bad, and I can't think of the names of the other ones, probably because I pushed them out of my mind. Uh, but you can tell in the face, like around the eyes and the uh, the mouth that there's definitely something. And I was just staring at that the whole time go, uh, I hope she's not more on this. Um, but apparently she was in Indiana Jones. And so I, I, I think I've heard something about her. But anyways, this review has gone long enough. Um, I, I would definitely give this three out of five stars. Um, I don't know if I'd say I'd recommend it, but it was definitely something different. So, uh, please like and subscribe. Let me comment down below what you thought of this. And uh, have a good day, everyone, and school.